Friends, here we are with uh, Professor Devendra Misra. Uh, he was a professor in Nairobi Univers uh, American University. My, my PhD is a specialization in immigrant studies. Wow. The Lebanese in Nigeria. But I have taught courses in Asian, European, African history across. I mean, God was very kind to me to have given me the opportunities to, to teach as many courses as came through my way and they trusted me I mean, comparative philosophy, religion and philosophy was another favorite course of mine for which I had a registration of students for three years in advance. Wow. And uh, my mission has all along been to present our Sanatan Dharma in its right context. Because there has been a lot of misunderstanding, particularly they all generated in the West to demean Hinduism, Vedic culture and all that. So unless we clear all those doubts, all that propaganda which was launched during the imperialist uh, regimes, colonial period, clear that mist which has surrounded Sanatana Dharma for such a long time and which has been used by other people to demean our great Sanatan culture. So that, that's my purpose and as and when I get an opportunity, whether this is on a radio program because I'm, I'm being called by 101.3 FM, uh, Radio Voice, whenever there's a festival, I try to tell them that there's not a single Hindu festival which does not convey a very strong message. Message of harmony, message of unity, message of purity and message of Vasudhava Kutumbuka. No other religion has done that. So we have to know that basically I also personally feel that Hinduism is not a religion. Those who think that Hinduism is a religion are mistaken. Hinduism is a dharma and dharma is a way of life. Anybody who follows the tenets of dharma is a Hindu to me. So Hinduism is not a religion. It's, it, it has four or five pillars which are based upon truth, non-violence, charity and the principle of surrender to God. Whatever is happening, whatever you are doing, do it by taking his name, the Almighty, the creator of this world. And you will be free from so many doubts and miseries which people encounter as academicians, as businessmen and what not. So I'm very clear on that point that we should follow the Hindu way of life which believes in giving rather than grabbing. We have been Vishwa Guru because we imparted knowledge to the whole world. It is not that India was called Vishwaguru for nothing. Whether these were the Vedas or the Upanishads or, or the, the, the epics, Ramayana, Mahabharata, Gita, get anything. And it is so much of relevance in our own times. Today, the Canadian scenario is that many of our youth are suffering from a lot of stress and tension and, and what not. And we have remedies for all these problems in Sanatana Dharma, in our epics, in our scriptures. It says, don't have expectations all the time. Do your duty to the best of your capability. And if you have performed your karma or your action, with that in mind, I have no doubt whatsoever that you will have a positive approach to life. Positivity in life is very essential. Negativity leads you nowhere. Today you find youth, our students, suffering from stress and strain. I mean, they are having blood pressure at the age of 17, 18, 19, 20. Why? Because this accumulated stress which they carry in different uh, uh, ways, it, it, it's, it's hurting them. It, it's affecting their study. It's affecting their attitude to life. And if they want a solution to their problems, unfortunately, I must admit that our temples, 
could have been the place which should, should have been the repository of knowledge where things could be imparted which can change life for the better. At Sanatana Dharma, that's the main, main aim of Sanatana Dharma, to help society, to, to, to show the right path to the people. But it is the truth of the matter that when, that, that when you, you go to a, to a temple, you go to hire priests for the temple, you want a priest to come here and serve the, the, the duties as a temple priest, and, and how much do you give them? Seven, $700, $800, my friends? Let me tell you, how can you get a knowledgeable person coming to Canada for $800? I mean, you have to pay money to get the brains, and these brains are essential for our own, own children, for our, our own um, people, you know. Whenever there's a query in the temple by the youth, priest doesn't know the answer. So he, he just stops that query right over there. He says, no, 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 sit down, sit down. You can ask the question next time. And so many youth have, have complained to me that why do you want us to come to temple if our queries are not going to be resolved? If we are not getting answers to our questions, why should we come? So, I mean, this is a very critical issue. And sooner we wake up, better it would be. And I have warned openly that unless the temples have knowledgeable people as priests, the future looks very gloomy to me. I am a realist. I, I, I am not an ostrich who hides his neck in the sand and thinks that nobody is seeing him. That's not true. Don't be an ostrich. Face the reality. And the reality of the situation is that if within the next 15 to 20 years, I am giving a life span. If in these 15, 20 years the temples do not reform themselves, do not get knowledgeable priests, the future will be very, very bleak. And uh, that way I must say that don't get flattered. People like you, Mr. Dilipan, are doing a great job. We need many more Dilipans. Thank you. It's high time. It's high time. We are wasting so much money on the sadhus and some Pakhandi Prabhupada Kartas coming here and uh, uh, I'm getting good amount of money and they come as, as if they are you no know, harvesters during rainy season, come, go to the field, make money and go back tax-free. I mean, there's need for permanent people like you who should devote a lot of time in informing people the reality of the, the intrinsic values of Sanatana Dharma. And let me tell you, once you have done that, if our youth understand the reality of the whole situation, the future of Hinduism would be very bright. And we will be having Vivekanans and Ramakrishna Paramahans in Canada. Right. Because great men do not, uh, do not need, need, they need not be born in India, all of them, no. The great souls are world over, right? So, so why, why are we delaying that? I do not know. There is a lot of money. There are many wealthy people in the, the, the GTA. And they told me that they are willing to be sponsoring or to be supportive of any such scheme. But there should be qualified, devoted people. Right. If they are there, opening is there. Finances are there. Because how many times will you be listening to Draupadi Chiharan or the Mahabharata Katha? There's a, there is, I mean, every year repetitive things are done and this is this has become more or less, what, what should I say? I, I can say, 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 it's a more or less a storytelling every every year for, uh, for uh, one, two, three months and the same story and the same people coming here and uh, sometimes even they go to the extent of, uh, of distorting the facts and pleasing the audience. I remember when I was in Nairobi, in Hare Krishna temple, there came a, came a Hare, Hare Krishna priest from India. And uh, he was sort of misinforming the audience about the, 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 the stories of Mahabharata. So when I, and the people were laughing, I mean, and they were very happy and saying such a priest has not come here. But I know that priest was ignorant actually. So after his lecture, when the temple president invited me to, to talk to him, I said, sir, why, why were you distorting facts? And you are ridiculing uh, 
some of the characters which you should have not. He said, Professor Mishra, it's not you who is uh, giving me a return ticket to India and giving me a hundred thousand dollars. It's this, this audience whom I please by distorting religion and cre creating new stories. So look at this. This is the scenario. This is the scenario. Those who come to preach Sanatan Dharma are telling stories which are adharm adharmic, which has nothing to do with dharma, simply to make the, 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 the audience laugh. So, so where is the reality of that? I must retreat again, whatever you are doing, I am very proud of you and uh, I wish you all the success in your mission. Thank you. And uh, you are in the, on the right path. This is the path of Bharata. So I don't know how you selected Bharat Bhargava, because Bharat Marg is the most, most uh, spiritual, most genuine way to protect Sanatana Dharma.